We've gone from 30,000 meals a week before this pandemic to this week, 150,000 meals a week while fully pivoting our entire business to this whole new thing. Video of hundreds of cards lining up for the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank before it opened yesterday. One of the consequences of all the closures, cancellations and layoffs is that some people might not have enough food to eat. Three years ago, every table started as a restaurant chain aimed at redefining fast food. They wanted to take on the behemoths of the industry. But instead of burgers and fries, every table wanted to serve healthy meals for about five bucks a piece and make them available in underserved communities. Their healthy food mission forced them to rethink what a restaurant even is. And in the process, they unknowingly set themselves up to survive in the midst of a pandemic. It's almost like we took sort of the hardest problem in food. How do you make fresh, healthy food and sell it for less than the price of fast food? And now we've gotten there. So how'd they do it? This is like tricolor quinoa. This is Sam Polk. Trying to figure out why we have so much of it. He was a hedge fund trader on Wall Street until he left his job, moved to Los Angeles, and started Every Table. Million dollars for 10% of the company. We'll do it. <laughs> From the beginning, Sam was committed to making healthy meals available in food deserts like Watts and Compton. In Los Angeles County, there's over a million Angelinos who experience food insecurity every day. We have twice as many people living in South LA as compared to West LA, but we have half as many grocery stores. And that has a huge impact on life expectancy. For example, the child that grows up in Watts is going to live 12 years less than the child that grows up in Brentwood. These days, healthy food is a luxury product that is enjoyed by the most affluent. We believe that healthy food is a human right. To sell healthy food at $5 a meal, every table had to rethink everything, starting with their kitchen model. Instead of each store making its own food, all the meals are made in one central kitchen, then distributed across the city. This cuts the cost of opening each new store by 75%. Sam knew diverse lines of business would serve the company in the long term. So they launched vending machines which are very low cost to operate and allow them to reach new markets like hospitals, apartment complexes, or colleges. And they launched a subscription service where they deliver meals to customers at regular intervals. For us, we've got to make it by a certain time, put it on a delivery truck, have it go out, get there at the right time, when it works, beautiful symphony, and when it doesn't work, this disastrous cluster, basically. But one of Every Table's most radical business moves is pricing meals differently based on the neighborhood they're sold in. A meal that costs $9 at the Every Table in Brentwood, for example, costs $5 at the one in Compton. This kind of pricing creates equity in the availability of healthy food, and it's also a price that makes scaling possible. And for Sam Polk and Every Table, the goal is to eventually have 37,000 stores, just as many as McDonald's. Because at that size, you can really make a difference in the food system. As an example, you know those apple pies from McDonald's? The, of our new oven -baked apple pie. the apples inside help make McDonald's the largest buyer of apples in the world. It has affected the types of apples that farmers choose to plant and, as a result, what kinds are available in most grocery stores. McDonald's is also the largest buyer of beef, pork, tomatoes, lettuce, and potatoes in the world. So what happens if every table gets to 37,000 stores? What is the impact on the entire food system if healthy food becomes the norm for most people's diets? And what about the impact on communities? I grew up in what they call Uptown Watts. We didn't have stores that had healthy fruits and vegetables. Every Table don't pay us to promote their brand. But when you look right down the street, we're pushing the brand of Every Table because we believe in what Every Table will stand for. So far, Every Table has been embraced by communities in ways that most fast food brands could only dream of. And now, they're needed more than ever. 
from the coronavirus pandemic. Many businesses are closed or only offering food to go, and layoffs are widespread. As the coronavirus pandemic set in, every table, like every other restaurant, wondered what its fate would be. But as it would turn out, they've been the only restaurant set up to meet the demands of people that need them most, like seniors and the homeless. So they've partnered with the city of Los Angeles to ensure these vulnerable groups stay fed throughout the pandemic. There is only one company in this city that is set up to do this, by which I mean like has the food production capabilities and has the logistical capabilities together and has the willingness to sort of go out and match the city at this speed and at this scale. And it's us. So we sort of decided to step up and do it. Every table will make more meals in the first three months of LA's shelter-in-place order than they did in their first three years of business. They're hiring 10 new people a day. Their staff is working around the clock to meet demand. And they've added a new kitchen that's four times the size of the original. What the pandemic has proven is that by staying mission-focused and reinventing the fast food business model, they're set up to take on any challenge. There's people hungry, and there's a city that sort of is in need of sort of our services, and that's what we're gonna do. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram so that we can continue sharing stories about people thinking differently and changing the world.